The secret to a great 36 hours in Key West has nothing to do with the sea and absolutely everything to do with the people. As long as you're interesting, we love you. Now remember the camera's ready, one of my favorite gingerbread houses. I think we're all pretty excited about it and we want people to return. So once you've got the, the Keys disease, they call it, or the island fever, it's kind of hard to get away from. For the New York Times, this is Sarah Wildman. As any self-respecting Key Westian knows, the only way around this two by four mile island is on two wheels. I rented myself a bike and steered my way through a lush collection of estates that lead up to the Little White House, a vacation spot favored by President Truman. That night, locals urged me to try the Flaming Buoy, a new homestyle restaurant owned by a couple of chatty Cincinnati transplants. You know, we might as well be in the desert compared to Key West because we're not into Wall Street. We're like in this weird little neighborhood. This is a place you're going to come. You're going to eat stuff that we would have cooked at our house. And you're going to meet our friends or you're going to meet new friends. And I love that about this place. I love that people like me here. After an island style long goodbye, I noticed a poster for a concert series at the studios of Key West, and I headed over to what turned out to be an art-filled space housed in the old armory. The arts community has a real rich history in Key West. I think there is something about the climate here that inspires people. You know, the light and the beauty and the, the water. We believe that, uh, you know, the studios is a great place to start. I'm a piece of work, I'm iron and lace. Right up there, in your face. there I caught the second half of a concert by folky Will Kimbrough, and I tried to buy some art from a vending machine. It was 10, but the night had barely begun. Hey, Sarah. Hey, ladies. Up to you. <laughs> I love the word ladies. <laughs> I received a text from my friends at the Flaming Buoy inviting me for a nightcap at the tiny Orchid Bar, a slip of a joint nestled near the illuminated pool at the Orchid Key Inn on Duval Street. My gin and grapefruit juice was dangerously smooth. Good morning. The next morning, I joined Key West's earliest risers to greet the sun. Here comes the sun. Oh. And then I followed their leader to an invigorating yoga class on the beach at Fort Zachary Taylor State Park. Don Bartoloni leads the sun salutations with just the ocean as a soundtrack. Then it was time for brunch. At Sarah Bass, the Florida outpost of the Manhattan restaurant, I discovered a group of women who jokingly called themselves the real housewives of Key West. She was very famous. She's a CNN correspondent. <laughs> they were filled with tips, especially for spots to shop. Any stores you guys particularly like? That's That's amazing. Amazing. And I never need an excuse to shop. On Petronia Street in historic Bahama Village, I wandered through boutiques like Wander Lust and the established favorite Besame Mucho, run by a fifth generation local, or conk, as they call themselves. Besame Mucho means kiss me a lot. It's a beautiful Spanish love song. I always wanted it to have a Key West Havana connection yeah. because that was uh, Key West's sister city. So I wanted it to be a nice atmosphere that kind of had an old world charm to it. After checking out a half dozen new little shops, I steered my bike toward the after deck at Louie's backyard and watched cruise ships head back out to sea as the sun dipped low. As darkness fell, I headed back to Duval Street to watch the nightlife from the porches of Point Five Lounge, a bar and small plate spot above the James Beard nominated restaurant 915. But for drinks alone and atmosphere, and this town is full of nothing if not atmosphere. I checked out La Tida with the gregarious Randy Roberts does a one hour drag cabaret act. Blush, blush. Small town life quickly makes you feel like a local too. I realized I was at home here when I bumped into a fresh-faced Randy Roberts 
and Joy, one of my new friends from Sarah Beth's brunch, having an after hours gab fest at 915. I love the drink. Oh, yeah. Gab fest. <laughs> which turned into a dance party, which went well into the wee hours. The ever-present roosters of Key West made sure I made the most of my last few hours here. I started with breakfast at Le Creperie, a French cafe featuring sweet and savory treats. And I ended my visit with a trip to Clarence Higgs Beach, a strip of sand where you can rent kayaks spa and beach weddings, and soak up the island calm before heading home. <laughs>